Intro the podcast, my boy. <laughs> I was trying to get you again. I know. Yeah, I actually got you. We started the podcast and I made a mistake, so that's why he's ready. Yeah. Can't get me this week. How y'all doing out there, crash dummies? Hope you're not in the car when you heard that. <laughs> not a pretty safe dummy in the car. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast episode five. What, how many fingers you got up? I'm just throwing up peace signs. I tell you that every time. Like I'm not about to sit up here and Who hold throws up. up peace signs with two fingers in the air? Like You never thought, bro, if I ever see you take a picture with your peace signs like this. I took a picture in our ad today our, for our sponsor with, my, with the peace sign. So the the first picture people are going to see me in on a national scale, I have a peace sign up. So I'm trying to start a trend. Peace <laughs> sign, Pat. <laughs> peace oh, sign, Pat. Goodness. Bring in the peace yeah, I think positivity to the people. PPP loan. PPP loan pack. <laughs> this man is just rambling at this point. Oh, my bad. I think I was on the podcast. <laughs> What's hey, up? Bro. What? Intro. The, oh, he did intro the podcast. Yeah. Crash Dummies with uh, Pat and Michelangelo. Yeah. So we'll just take the, the beginning of the podcast to kind of just keep thanking everybody for the support we've been getting as oh, you guys yeah. will probably well you guys are getting here and you better listen and you better uh, use our code but damn you aggressive as hell <laughs> as you're here during later during the podcast uh we got our first sponsor this episode is actually sponsored uh by our good friends at manscaped and manscaped we'll tell you a little bit about we'll tell you a little bit more about them a little later but i don't it's kind of crazy because this is only episode five and we almost have ten thousand followers on tiktok um Instagram slowly growing, but YouTube two hundred above two hundred subscribers, and yeah. the love has just been crazy. Like the first five episodes, so I, much love, so many people reaching out um, without us having to reach out to them. Yeah. So like the work that we're putting in is like really showing. Yeah, and we appreciate every single person that reached out, except this one dude, <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> listen, I gave th- this is your warning, bro. So we, I got a message to our instagram inbox and you know me and mike are logged in duly logged into every account so we both can see every message every email we get anything that has to do with crash dummies so it's just about first come first serve in this instance like whoever gets to the message first Mm -hmm. responds to the message so this guy sent us a photo and everybody we probably had over like 100 people reach out to us that we haven't known like Mm -hmm. personally to our ig inbox that we don't know and every message has been like positive like people sending us their music showing us like art stuff like that this is our first troller was he trolling i don't know if he was trolling (laughs) but he sent uh Basically, in the picture, I don't want to get too graphic, but he he was butt ass naked sitting on an object. <laughs> I'm pissed. I think the message was meant for Mike, <laughs> so I caught a straight bullet. And the worst part is, I tried to get Mike to view it also because I'm like, if I had to go through this, he got to go through this shit too. And but the message expired. Yeah, my dumb ass was clicking on it, trying to clicking see. that. He was gonna see all ass. <laughs> like i was so pissed i was so hurt bro i wanted to sue something i was like googling <laughs> stuff like how can i get back at this dude man like you gotta jump his ass for real <laughs> i want to beat his ass so bad bro <laughs> i'm hurt <laughs> you gotta go stump him out man have you, ever, have you ever been jumped before i've ever been jumped before Nah, i watched somebody get jumped before i watched somebody get jumped by like 12 people and my like initial thought about like people jumping you is how can that many people be mad at you at the same time <laughs> like you gotta be one annoying motherfucker like 12 people i can see like ah, i pissed three people off yeah they happen to be friends they jump me 12 people beating your ass with aggression with aggression trying to kill you bro you gotta be one annoying motherfucker that's why i never helped anybody to get jumped <laughs> like if somebody getting jumped, it's for a reason. Like mm. people just don't like gang up and just oh, we just gonna randomly jump this dude. Like I think that anger is something you need for a successful for a successful uh, jump. You need that anger, because one time my brother was um, getting to a fight. I think I was in fourth grade. He must have been like in sixth grade. He was fighting this one kid at school in middle school that knew every type of karate, MMA, grappling, jujitsu, a killer. Right. Mm-hmm. So my brother's fighting him after school. They going at it. Boom, boom, boom. Right. So then. The dude's like 
mounts my brother and starts like punching him. So I was like, oh shit, I gotta jump in. So I'm like, I'm a little, I'm a kid. I'm not, I wasn't like that, that muck, that confident. I was always a little skinny kid. Mm-hmm. I said, like, all right, I gotta go for it. So I ran over to him, put him in the headlock. I was like, get off my brother. And so I started choking him. Then I thought to myself, like, damn, what if I kill him? Right. Mm-hmm. And that thought process, he reversed it, started beating me and my brother's ass at the same time. You ever see those uh, Jackie, Can- Jackie Chan movies where yeah, yeah, yeah. you see all the villains coming after right. him? Right, and he whooping two people at He's one time. He's just beating both of our ass. I was like, damn, that was one unsuccessful jumping. I don't know <laughs> I don't know how you sitting here. <laughs> he, I, he, You got to kill him. You no, and your, like, I've actually saw him. You actually seen he's still yeah, alive? Yeah. <laughs> you soft as hell. <laughs> you got to die. <laughs> so I saw him at the maybe like a couple years ago. Me and my brother went to LA Fitness, and he worked at LA Fitness. And the funny thing, bro, <laughs> he was like, "What up, Mike?" His name was Nicholas or something. He's like, "What up, Mike?" Like, "What up?" I'm like, I didn't have no. Like, I'm not gonna hold a grudge for that long. And then he's like, "Yo, you remember me?" I was like, "Yeah." He's then he took. He looked at my brother. He's like, "I know you remember me." <laughs> Damn. <laughs> my yeah, it would have been raps. Like, <laughs> bro, I could. So, I could. I was way bigger than him too. I was like, I could put this dude in the freaking. I'd be so pissed. Chokehold right now. His name will be up on my wall. Yeah, sometimes you got to it. You got to know uh, when to pick <laughs> pick your battles. Another funny story <laughs> about like picking your battles and stuff like that is one time me and my brother were selling. I used to sell stuff on Craigslist all the time when we were kids. Sell what? Like electronics. Uh, like, as long as y'all not selling ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just... So we used to sell uh, electronics. So one time we sold uh, some like some dude tells to meet us at like the, the freaking project ass building. So we're like, damn, this does not look good. So we go up there with a little Blackberry, uh, this dude, and I'm like, damn, I recognize you. He's like one of like he's like a gang member in the in the in the city. Like, damn, mm-hmm. he looked familiar as hell. So he's like, oh, what y'all got for me? I was like, uh, the Blackberry. And then he looked at it, he was like, All right, cool. He walked inside, closed the door, and never came out. <laughs> and then I was thinking to myself, like, we're like, what do we do? Do we you know, we see him all the time on the streets. Right. <laughs> so we're like, what do we do? And then we just made the a business decision and said, this ain't our fight. This ain't our fight. <laughs> oh, no, it ain't your fight. It's somebody that confident. Like, he didn't even, like, rip it away from you and run in the door. He was like, thank you. Saw him the, like, next, saw him the, saw him the next week or something. So I walked by, gave him the little salute. I salute you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> that dude do nothing. You got it. I was like, you got it, man. If it's that important for you to steal from, from freaking middle schoolers, then... Hey, <laughs> do you? I seen I seen this one dude. He got jumped inside a laundromat in Pontiac. Damn, while doing laundry. While doing laundry, <laughs> I guess he was like folding clothes next to this dude girl. So they're folding clothes next to each other, and I guess it was like one dryer left, mm-hmm. and they both had to dry at the same time. Yeah, and he kind of like she opened it and went to go grab her stuff, and while it was open, he heard it and threw his in and started the machine. And try like tried to walk away. So she called like all of her brothers up and stuff like that. So what he didn't know is like yeah, like seven brothers. Yeah. They all came up, pulled up, and just got the beat beating the shit out to do. And like the thing about getting beat up in a laundry mat is like you know exactly what's about to happen as soon as you like get weak and start to pass out after they beating the shit out of you. Mm-hmm. They gonna stuff you in a dryer. Like <laughs> it's inevitable. Like that's what it's there for. Like it's like the final scene, and you know, eventually out of those seven dudes, yeah. they're gonna be like, "Hey, let's put this motherfucker in the dryer." <laughs> like that's the most disrespectful <laughs> shit to crumble you up like a beach towel and throw you in a damn dryer. Like, like I was like, "God damn!" But we went to the laundry mat to get to wash and end up getting washed. <laughs> <laughs> the boy got washed at a laundry mat. Yeah, so that that's the craziest thing. But we, I used to I used to see a lot of dumb shit when I was in school. Like when I was younger, mm-hmm. I used to do a lot of dumb shit. Like me and my cousins, we used to ride our bikes around the city for two and three miles to different hotels, and then one of us would go to the front desk of the hotel, and be like, "Oh, my mom just left, and she didn't even leave us a key to go swimming, and she left mm-hmm. before we can go." And the people at the front desk would always fall for it. Be like, oh, here's the key. That's actually smart. And then <laughs> we would go into the hotel pool and mm-hmm. we would swim. And then eventually they would figure out like, oh, who are these kids? You know what Especially I mean? Especially if it's like a, a high end like hotel or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we would always we always get like at least an hour in. Mm-hmm. 
And then before like security came and kicked us out, and where are they gonna do arrest us? Yeah, for being in the pool. So they just kick us out. We you know go a mile or two to the next hotel. I think the 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 dumbest thing. Me and my brother used to do some dumb shit sometimes. Cause our parents, we'll, <laughs> since it was three of us, we'd be at home by ourselves, like when we were younger. And then one time, we, me and my both my brothers, we were arguing. We both snitch on each other. So I knew y'all were some rats. <laughs> when I met y'all. I froze. I froze. Like my dad plays tennis a lot, so I popped open a, one of his new tennis things. You, if you ever seen like new tennis balls that yeah. come in like the little can opener, that's just scary as hell. Yeah. So first time I, I did it, I got scared as hell. So I opened it and then I poured it out and I poured like a whole bunch of water and then soap and just put it in the freezer. Dumb shit. Like doesn't make no sense. No sense at all. It makes zero sense. And then. Oh, actually, it was Emmanuel that did that dumb shit. I called, I prank phone called 911. <laughs> I think, you, can you prank? Yeah, so it's different when you live in a, a building with 26 floors ah. and 10. So it's like over thousands of people that live in the same two tower building. Right. So when they called, I was just looking out the window and I saw them pull up <laughs> with the <laughs> with the fire trucks and everything. I was just, I don't know, like that shit just gave me a little rush. Like, like yeah, they don't even know who did it type shit. That shit kind of hype. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> No, oh. that's yeah. That's probably the best part about living in the projects. The only good part about living in projects is when you come, when the cops come, they don't know where to go yet. I didn't live in the projects. You didn't? No, I lived in Section Eight, but it wasn't the projects. Nigga, that's the projects. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you look at it now, you would never think if it was like a hood, like you consider it a hood. It's so gentrified right now. Sometimes gentrification is not a bad thing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> XXL Freestyle. Did you see it? Yes. Hold on. Let me keep talking about it. I'm about to play you one, that, my favorite one. Well, if people don't know what the XXL Freestyle is, um, XXL, the magazine, picks um, up-and-coming artists, which they like to call freshman artists, who are coming into the game, and they like to invite them to do, like, a freestyle, either a cappella or with the beat, and they, like, to have them showcase their talent you know what i mean so they're already most likely they probably already have like a hit single out so most people know who they are and now they're trying to get them on like a broader scale for this xxl freestyle so you know people like you know Pooh shicey was on there here's Co- the favorite one right here Coyle Ray, ddg was on there hey hey just coil or right? Here we go, this is the best part. We all get money. Yeah. We all get money. And then she starts twerking at them. They said she quit. <laughs> It said she quit mid- midway through her, her freestyle and, and started twerking. <laughs> I like Coralie, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I, li- I like Coralie. Shit. Shit. Way real. Mo- really. Mo- that shit is garbage. <laughs> Boy, that shit was garbage. <laughs> yeah, it literally sounded like they gave a squirrel to Mike and just let him rock out. I like her though. She's good. She. You that, think she's good? I think she's talented. Yeah. I think she's. I think people. I think sometimes. Trash. I think sometimes people follow the hate train. No, I, I'm not <laughs> hating. I, oh, yeah. She's successful. She knows what sound people want to hear. But mm-hmm. when I hear um, people complain about like what music might be one day, yeah, I feel like she's like the bridge of what it like almost is like that. <laughs> like that. Um, playboy cardi type of sound mm-hmm. like if music ends up in that i don't want to be that old head like that be at the parties when i'm 40 like turning this shit off but i see i'm gonna have to eh, eh, moo, moo. i think this this year's list was sound like a, a squirrel little, this year's okay. list was <laughs> this year's Mario. list was, <laughs> <that's> a, <laughs> this year's list was all right like it was um it was a lot i think it just gave a lot more people opportunity to be on xxl i don't know what other artists Brr, brr. Push Icy was on there. Push yeah, Icy, that's my dog. Push Icy, 42 Doug. Oh, you didn't finish it. Uh, no, I didn't want to play the whole thing. I'm not trying to get no, uh, no, copyright. Push, Push Icy, that's my dog. So, but. Oh, but Pooh 
you know I'm really shysty. Damn. Is that what he said? Yeah, that's what he said. That's what the young kids are saying. Why do you sound like a translator or something? <laughs> but Poo, you know I'm really shysty, but right? Poo, you know I'm really shysty. Yeah, XSL. I don't know. I don't have much really much to say about it. It was it is what it is. This was last year this was probably one of the might have been the worst ones in a while. I think. All of them are bad. They're, I think I think there's always freshman artists. They're, yeah. they're, I don't think it's bad. I don't think this year was bad. But I'm just saying in ranking wise. Yeah, all of them people forget that these are like freshman artists. They've only probably been out three or four years. The, the, the one with Uzi was fire. Yeah, but they haven't developed their sound. Go go back to the one with like Uzi Twenty One Savage. Look that how one much, was that one's fire. It was fire, but look how much different they sound now. Not much different. Yeah, they do. Not like really. Denzel Curry like, sound a little different. A lot of them are more lyrical. Like they might not seem more lyrical to you but they're more lyrical i don't agree i don't agree what else do we have on the docket um we got a lot of would you kill baby hitler if you if you were if what is can you go back in time or you got to grow up with them or i think would the, you kill yeah, baby yeah, hitler? yeah i know the card but the question is if you could go back in time would you kill baby hitler like me as a grown man yeah like you going back in time i saw a forbes article about this would you so my initial i want to see if you would kill a baby listen listen first listen. that way if so mine's is a little cheating because at first i was thinking yeah why not take out hitler and save the world from this whole thing but in reading like the forbes article it talks about like um it talks about like hitler not really being the problem if you kill hitler there's just going to be another person to step up to step up because he obviously grew up in an environment that made him that way right so that means the people around him still exist right he still had uh generals (laughs) lieutenants under him that thought the same thing that he He exactly so it's not like it's not like it was one ideology that created uh that made him do this but it would just would have been another hitler so yeah i don't know if i went back in time i think i would do uh, I'll do something different than than look go look for a baby. What would you I, different? I don't know. I'll just go say I don't think this question is for black people. I, <laughs> <laughs> Harriet <laughs> Like I, I always tell people that it's like, you know, you get you know, I got I got a lot of white friends. Mm-hmm. I got a lot of black friends, I got a lot of friends of all colors. But when my white friends talk about like, oh man, I wish we don't you just wish we can go back in time and sit at a diner and have a good old burger? Be like <laughs> I don't think I would be in that diner. I don't <laughs> that, that's just my opinion on that. So if we you, probably, lie. you probably got like five seconds to kill Hitler before they like, boy, get your ass back on that damn field. <laughs> You're trying to like think, oh, maybe it's not Hitler. Maybe it's the people. Boy, what you doing in this goddamn house? <laughs> You doing all that goddamn thing? You better hope that time machine can take your class right back. You gotta go do something useful. What are we gonna do? Call uh, Harriet. <laughs> Harriet. I'm gonna go to. I a, know where to go. Go to a plantation with an AK-47. Everybody free. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. I'm here now. Oh my gosh, that's funny. We would just do go do something different. Yeah, I would go do something different. They'd be like, "Oh, did you kill baby Hitler?" I'd be like, <laughs> "No, but I ended slavery." <laughs> That'd be a big, a, I, I don't even know my geography is bad, but a black dude in Germany back in that in that time, <laughs> they're probably gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Stick <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. <laughs> Fuck sticking out. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do something totally different. Oh but, man, yeah, we got we got like, alternative. At least I would save Black Wall Street or some shit. <laughs> hey, they coming to burn this shit down. It was like I don't think <laughs> I'm like actually doing something that's gonna help. I'm going, <laughs> exactly. I'm going like like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Every situation that I think of, like you trying to go back and save people and then you just end up being like right where they are. Exactly. Like, there's nothing you can bring back from the future, like, and then the situation will still probably be the same. Like, if, no. again, you might kill baby Hitler, and then another Hitler, just another person, just pops, does up. do the same thing that Hitler did. Like, stuck damn, in Germany and shit, <laughs> <laughs> your ass in jail. <laughs> oh man! Oh my god! Did you get a chance to see um, USA versus Nigeria? No, I didn't watch the game. You didn't, but so I you didn't see Ni- so you didn't see Nigeria win. Why would I watch a game? You USA didn't see Nigeria versus- win. Yeah, I saw a Nigerian one. All right, just hold on. Just for that. I got something for our Nigerians. How long is this going to take you? 
He just walks out the room. Um, so, yeah, Mike is talking about Team USA basketball getting upset by Nigeria in a exhibition game. Remember, it's an exhibition game before whatever he's doing is about to come in. I know it's going to be some dumb shit. So, oh, my God. What do you have on? My grandma has that carpet. <sighs> this is more like it. So let me ask the question again. Did you see the Nigeria versus <laughs> USA game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw it. So you, you you saw my guys go crazy, huh? Yeah, they went crazy. Exhibition game, though. You saw my guys go crazy, right? It's an exhibition game. So what? I had to sit through Carmelo breaking a freaking three-point record freaking five years ago. Oh, well, they won by, isn't that the record all time? Yes. So this is our time. Point differential. And everybody trying to clown us on, on Twitter saying at least they're saying at least they got running water. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, they got running water in Nigeria. They do? Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a bad deck of cards. Like, I do. What is I, that? I pulled this out though. I don't, my mom got me this. For our audio listeners, you can just go to YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Crash Dummies Podcast. Nice. And, um, and then I'm getting good at the little the little plugs, huh? The shameless plugs. And then check out what I got on. My mom got me this. Um, I've never worn it, so sorry, mom. But I, I decided to to pull it out today. And I went to the basement. I saw it there. I was like, this is what I need to wear. Wow. Yeah. You see, I, have you been keeping up with Team USA? Uh, yes. I saw they lose another game. <laughs> They lost, I think they lost a game to Australia, mm -hmm. which has a couple NBA players on yeah. it. Patty Mills, Patty, Joe Patty. Inglis. I'm sure there's, I think there's one more that I'm missing from that squad. But anyways, and then they came back and won against Argentina. But Oh, uh, they won? Yeah, they won. Oh, so, I didn't know they won. So they're one and two. Nigeria beat Argentina also, just letting you oh, know. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. I hey. I don't know what they're going to do. Our guys are Did balling. Did you see that tweet? What's tweet? The guy, um, he tweeted... Uh, so he delete he tweeted then deleted. Um, oh, was it the one we sent about, in the group chat? Yeah, about Nigeria, um, and USA. I, oh, so oh, I got it right here. I can't even get into my pockets. His, his name. <laughs> <laughs> you got no pockets. You got a damn dress on. <laughs> you got a um a disco carpet on. Greg White at Greg White thirty two. The tweet is now deleted. Tweeted. Somewhere in Nigeria, a young boy is playing on a dirt court <laughs> with a flat ball in a makeshift goal because a dream was sparked on Saturday. While this weekend in the U.S., there will be a tourney featuring eight-year-old elite teams with $20 entry fees and parents fighting in the crowd. So, he said that Nigeria... You guys play on a dirt court <laughs> what with a flat ball. Or do you want to get on this show and debunk that myth? <laughs> I don't. D does he think? Does he get like Nigeria mixed up with Afghanistan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they got courts, good courts in Afghanistan. Like too. what? Like what is he? What is? Bro, there's worse. This I've seen worse courts here than in Nigeria. At some points, to be honest, like especially when you go to the hood uh, mm -hmm. in America. Yeah, you see bad courts. There's bad courts everywhere, but there's not like a a vast amount of people in Nigeria right. playing on dirt courts. I've every time I've never played on dirt court when I was out there. Played on the real court. We even had uh, soccer fields or football fields with turf, <laughs> like turf field. I, that was the first time me playing on turf was in Nigeria. So, it, so Greg White, thirty two <laughs> on Twitter. You heard that? He deleted it. So I'm guessing someone. So we gave him some heat for that. You can't just yeah. That's what I'm saying. You gotta watch what you say on on Twitter sometimes. It can't it come back and and bite you, <laughs> bite you. You know. Yeah, so Greg White will we'll never get a job <laughs> where there's any diversity. Oh, oh my goodness. We used to watch the the geographical channel to find out. Maybe he's <laughs> watching that too much. Shut up. He's just watching like <laughs> he's probably like watching like nature shows, like, yeah, they ain't got no ball over there. <laughs> 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 oh my god that's why you gotta watch what you say on um, twitter i'm gonna end up like uh chrissy teigen oh yeah yeah chrissy teigen part of part of the cancel club 
<laughs> they canceled. I, I felt bad for her because I'm like, at, as far as that I know, at the time, I was like, Chrissy Teigen's like pretty cool. She responds to people on Twitter. She's always, you know, about, you know, moving the needle forward on anything that has to do with racism, everything. She's always to the forefront. You know, she was bashing Trump and stuff like that. So that's what, like, a lot of people know her for on Twitter, also for being John Legend's wife. Mm-hmm. And also she has, like, she that's does cooking stuff. Her. Yeah. So she has cooking stuff. But a uh, recent story that I heard that Chrissy Teigen um, was, like, cyberbullying this girl named Courtney Stodden, who's, like, she's, like, a 16-year-old. Was she 16 at the time or 16 now? I think I think she was 16 at the time when okay. she married a 51 year old Don Hutchinson. She, when she was 16? Yes, I'm guessing wherever. Wait. <laughs> I'm guessing wherever that is like legal. So wherever it was at, <laughs> it was legal. What? At that point, if they got married, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not, it didn't say like they were together. It says married. So <laughs> it has to be legally okay. I, Oh my! Even though goodness. it's morally fucked up, but it's so a sixteen-year-old yeah. Courtney Stodden married fifty-one-year-old Don Hutchinson, and I guess Chrissy Teigen was like DMing them. First, she was tweeting stuff like, "Oh, this is so disgusting," which there were a lot of people tweeting that. Mm-hmm. But I guess on the flip side of that, she was DMing her, like DMing the girl, yeah, and saying, "Kill yourself. I wish you guys would die." That's weird. Like how, and then she lost all of her sponsorships to Target, uh, Macy's. They took her line down mm. of like products that she had at Target. Bro, but I, but like to be DMing somebody, like I, I've never been that mad. Still to this day. To this day. <laughs> to this day. And Mike just told you a story where he got his ass beat by a dude. And he never DM that <laughs> dude and say, I want you to die. <laughs> I want you to kill yourself. Like. Yeah, she deserves to be canceled and more. And then she just recently came out and said that she's sad ever since she's been in the the cancel club Mm -hmm. that she that she's sad. She even had an apology tweet. I'm going to read off the apology tweet here real quick. That's the thing. Like if you if you're trying to be edgy and then you have it's like people try to be too edgy sometimes and that's not really your forte. Right. You're on in Target. You know, Dave Chappelle's not in Target. He's edgy as hell, but he he lives and dies on that edginess and it's funny when he right that's, you know what I'm saying? that's, that's the part of his thing yeah. like the the mo like anybody that sponsors dave Chappelle already knows like what mm-hmm. he gets into and he's probably not dming people saying that yeah. he's gonna kill him either yeah so, so, so target to die also yeah right <laughs> that's the right main part. Exa- that's the main part right here <laughs> so here's chrissy Teigen with her apology slash like what she's feeling at the time mm-hmm. so she said not a lot of people are lucky enough to be held accountable for all of their past bullshit in front of the entire world i'm mortified mortified and sad at who i used to be i was in an insecure attention-seeking troll i am ashamed and completely embarrassed at my behavior but that is nothing compared to how i made courtney feel i have worked so hard to give you guys joy and be beloved and and the feeling of letting you down is nearly unbearable, truly. These were not my only mistakes and surely won't be my last. As hard as I try, but God, I will try. So she really admitted to do that, huh? Yeah. That is wild. She was better off. The best thing I've seen celebrities do. So you want to know who had the best PR um, fixing that I've seen in the past five years. And I'm going to tell you, and you're going to remember exactly what he did, and then you're going to see how much people barely talk about it now, how much has died down. And it's Dwight Howard. What, it, <laughs> what was Dwight Howard in the news for? Um, for supposedly having a relationship with a transgender? Yes. Mm-hmm. So I guess um, I'm not sure, like, the details of, mm-hmm. like, what – like who the person was yeah but that person basically said um dwight howard um likes men mm-hmm. basically yeah so this person went on and had like uh i guess had a convo recorded of dwight howard like on the phone with her maybe they're arguing or i think she has some text i'm not super super positive about exactly what happened but this was a huge story yeah right dwight howard not and then there was like a bunch of videos of Dwight Howard like playing around like with his teammates and 
and the media trying to twist that mm -hmm. into saying mm -hmm. that you know oh it's been evident that all along yeah which so, is weird yeah which is weird for people to go back and like yeah. look at it. that's the tough part about being a celebrity like everything's like recorded so um all these people are like saying this like every single joke like that could be made like mm -hmm. oh when do, you get posted up by a dwight howard like oh dwight howard's looking at this person like so and so like I've every single Oubre. joke i've seen the Ke kelly Oubre ones yeah the kelly Oubre yeah, those ones. Are yeah, funny. yeah. <laughs> they're not funny <laughs> they're kind of funny <laughs> <laughs> but so it's like doing all this stuff dwight howard never once responded to it yeah he never said he just anything. let it die down and it was big it was big it was big little little small 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 yeah. barely gets mentioned now when dwight howard um, gets a technical. That's why I think D Dwight Howard also changes persona on the court. Yeah, like Dwight Howard used to be this super super smiley guy, mm -hmm. like play around, laugh, shoot threes. The whole crowd's laughing. Now, if you ever watch Dwight Howard play, he fouls somebody every single play. <laughs> yeah. He gets a technical foul every single game. Literally, only plays like twenty minutes a game behind Joel and B, and literally almost fouls out every single game almost gets a technical every single game no, and he's kind of like changed the persona of how people uh talk about him and the stories about him he dates um cooper tia cooper i think she I plays for the sparks mm -hmm. really um attractive uh WNBA player yeah and he dates her and like if you go under comments anytime like as oh it's dwight howard a hall of famer anything about dwight howard it's not that story anymore. Mm -hmm. People are not making that joke anymore. So I think some celebrities are better off just not saying anything, just yeah. disappearing for a while. Now, because when she made that apology tweet, what's the first thing I did? I went to go look up and see what the fuck she said. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, you told somebody think, to kill themselves? I think it helps for Dwight's situation, even though it's not even a bad thing that if he was gay or if he wasn't gay. But another thing was that the me the sports media didn't touch that story. Facts. <laughs> That's facts. that was another thing. They yeah. they which is good. I'm glad they didn't because somebody's sexual preference has nothing to do with it's, it's with not the, a yeah, it's not a sports, sports topic. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, but and, the And he's not coming out and saying that Yeah, he's not coming out and saying it himself. So he's saying yeah. himself, so it's really not a story. Yeah. At that point. But yeah, Chrissy Teigen to tell the that's what I never understand. I know we probably talked about this in the first podcast, but people that just say hateful things on the internet, like just to do it, like just to do it, just like know? it's like what, like what do you try? Like does that make you feel that good? Like how any you're married to John Legend, okay? You're married to I'm John Legend. John Legend has said anything about it either. He can't. That's part of the PR thing. Yeah. Like only thing you can do is apologize for your wife, but you're also putting yourself in that same thing. Now you might lose some fans. Yeah. He also has something to protect but you are a millionaire you live in you can literally google chrissy teigen's house and john legend's house mm -hmm. they live in a gated community huge mansion a bunch of cars and you're so obsessed with this situation that you fucking inbox this girl and say i wish you guys would die hell yeah you deserve to be canceled yeah. and you fucking cook for a living like <laughs> what the fuck what the fuck like oh my goodness like that's terrible speaking of like um celebrity houses mm -hmm. you see like there's been a lot of celebrity break-ins this summer like celebrity especially like, in la in la yeah. and it, these are like gated communities with security like all this stuff so people are like truly working i saw um eminem was recently a I big um i saw rich the kid uh rich the kid's girlfriend was a victim and the the biggest story is again rich the kid's girlfriend a while ago though right no recently maybe recently maybe it's the same story yeah it might be a while ago but the the biggest one the biggest one i've seen is Lil dirk in uh india is india, that her name yeah and i guess they intruders were approaching their home and they both were shooting back like mr and miss smith and ran off the that's intruders. just crazy though like like where do you move like after that after home invasion do you feel comfortable Man, in your own house can't can't or does the is dirk even allowed to have guns does the neighborhood Shh. does the neighborhood <laughs> <laughs> does the neighborhood um does the neighborhood uh like up their security like do they like is there a neighborhood watching those that's crazy a whole shootout a whole shootout yeah and you live in he's from chicago obviously mm -hmm. from south side of chicago yeah you know from 60 what third 
Wow, <laughs> you heard that, Dirk? <laughs> 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 no, he's not from 63rd. But um, but yeah, so he goes from that, and then he has to deal with that. Probably, well, I don't know where he lives, but I'm sure it's somewhere in the suburbs, mm. in a gated community. Like, that's crazy. Like, if you can get touched there, like, people can reach you there. People can damn near reach you anywhere. All these celebrities, everybody knows where they live. Like, I you know. see TMZ when TMZ they- TMZ is terrible. I mean, they make a story about them, and you, <laughs> they'll say they'll show well, their whole house. But, like, Michael S. Yobu, I mean, what if they did that about regular people? Like, yeah. oh, Michael S. Yobu just um, bought a house in Shorewood. Exactly. They'll show he, you the, the mega right mansion there. the person just bought. I'm like, damn, that's the, just crazy. Then it's zoomed out. This is the only road leading to there. <laughs> but, like- they're right next to a beach, yeah. Bradford Beach. They you can it. enter from the back right here if you are quiet. Like, what? They got to chill out with that. And then, so TMZ. So first, I'm going to tell you where they live, right? Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to take a picture of them anytime they're at an event. Yeah. So now I know. So let's just say it's, I don't know, Will Smith, mm-hmm. right? So you told me Will Smith just bought a house in LA. You told me exactly where it's at. Then you just took a picture of Will Smith at like an Paris. award show. Yeah, at, or at Paris. <laughs> Thank you. So I got two things down. I just have to make sure nobody else is home. Mm-hmm. So TMZ trying to report all this stuff, doing more harm than good. But, you know, they don't give a fuck. Yeah, there's no morals. There's no morals in that. No. But, again, I think even celebrities, too, she wants your privacy sometimes, too. Like, don't take pictures of that girl in front of your, you know, but people can know where you live. And don't make, like, the Pop Smoke mistake of showing the... Oh, Pop address. Smoke. Yeah, Pop Smoke. That wasn't... That, that was, was his LA. friend. His was, friend did that. No, 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 no. I thought his friend posted an IG. No, he posted it. He got a, a package from Amiri, and then he was posting the the bags they got him, and he was in a rented house in LA, and it had the address on it, and then these kids came and uh, pretty much just got in a shootout with him and killed him in his house. Wow. So it was like, it was like kids, too, like... 14th and that's how i said to la people breaking into people's houses like but that, i would not want to live out there it's like you got all this money and you're still getting your shit robbed but that's that's what a lot of i know like a lot of celebrities come from the hood like mm-hmm. like we've seen a lot of stories or like yeah. oh he was broke and he came up but that's what people don't know like it's people in the hood that's making like a hundred dollars a week mm-hmm. and i know for sure like hey this dude has three thousand dollars on him yeah <laughs> like i make a hundred dollars a week like i remember in um in eighth grade, I had a hundred. I had like two hundred dollars. I just brought it to school to show my friend. I was like, "Yeah, I got two hundred dollars in my pocket." It was actually for a field trip or something. And then I heard in the rumblings, just like, "Hey, Mike, this, this dude's gonna try to jump you to try to take your money." I was like, "Shit!" All right, so I gave my friend <laughs> my money to hold for me. Last period comes, I'm like, "All right, I know they're about to do something somewhere." All I see is my back of my hoodie <laughs> go over my head. <laughs> and they started pinning me against the locker, start going through all my pockets. I'm just standing still they with the big. What? They started going through my pockets. Why they pin you against the locker? Oh. Put your hood over. Bro, they did everything, and I was just smiling. Oh. They I was, did what? I was just smiling. They did everything? They just did, like, run through my pockets. Oh, okay. And I was just smiling the whole time. I was like, I don't got shit. And then uh, they took it off. They're like, oh, we just fucking with you. I was like, bro, I wish I could see some of them right now. I'll freaking get them them with swirlies and shit right now. Yeah, you're pretty shit. big now. You yeah, can probably right get on. back. And like, this whole garb we too. Do, we should do a thing. Like it, it sounded like you got your ass beat a lot when you was younger. We should just <laughs> do like a tour where we knocking on people's doors, getting revenge. Bully revenge. Back in blood. Shit. What else we got? Oh, hold on. I think we just got our first sponsor. First sponsor. First sponsor. And we are sponsored by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below-the-waist grooming and champions of the world. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. Manscaped just launched their fourth-generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0. Join over 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. With this exclusive offer for you, 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code CRASHDUMMIES at manscaped.com. 20% off. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Imagine shaving with a sleek, well-designed, optimized trimmer that makes shaving time your favorite time in the bathroom. Ooh. I'm one of the first people to actually try the Lawnmower 4.0. I actually took, since they shipped both of them to us, I took liberty of trying both of them out just to make sure like it works good, you know? Bro, I'm sitting here wondering why my trimmer smells like ostrich piss. <laughs> 
So Manscaped engineered the ultimate groin and body trimmer by focusing on intelligent functionality and incredible comfortable grooming experience. The fourth generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents. Thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. I now feel confident, you know, shaving down there you know i feel you i feel you i feel you well the upgraded trimmer includes multi-function on and off switch that can engage a travel lock it also gives you the ability to turn 4000k led spotlight on and off when needed for more precise shade also the lawnmower 4.0 even allows you to customize your trim through the additional guard lengths from one through four so if you wanted to give your your balls a a fade you could just give it to it a ball fade (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Uh, did i mention wireless charging the new wireless charging system uses electromagnetic induction which can help battery length last longer men if you've been shaving with the same nut trimmer on your face ew pause you've been doing it wrong no person wants to end up with pubes in their mouth why would they put that (laughs) not at all it's time to get your own ball hair and body trimmer with manscaped to make me time the best time and enhance your confidence with some nice smooth boys get 20 percent off plus free shipping with the cold crash dummies at manscaped.com your balls will thank you again that's 20 percent off free shipping using code crash dummies at manscaped.com unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with manscaped buzz buzz now back to the podcast see ya did you hear about that um that story and there's a story in australia mm-hmm. right so i was reading trying to read funny stories because mm-hmm. you know i was bored so there's the story in australia of this neighbor so there's this guy his neighbor who lost his snake and I guess the whole neighborhood was looking for Lost it. a snake? Lost a snake. Like, how do you lose a snake? Jesus Christ. All right, go ahead. <laughs> it's Australia, though. So <laughs> it makes sense. This dude lost his uh, snake. So he was helping his neighbor look for his snake everywhere. Mm-hmm. Right? So uh, after, they, I think, three hours, everybody kind of gave up. Because they kind of live like near like a backwoods. And everybody just assumed... The snake escaped and he's now in the backwoods, yeah. which is even scarier. So this guy like goes and um, after a long day of looking for the snake, he sits down on his toilet and he feels like a sting in his balls. <laughs> so he hops up and the snake was hiding in his toilet. Oh, holy shit. So the snake like bit his balls. <laughs> what it's a this is a freaky ass snake like out of all the shit you can do like as a, a like a snake that's held captive the best thing you think of like what i'm gonna do with my freedom oh i'm gonna go in this dude i'm gonna go in somebody's toilet damn that gotta hurt and yeah. attack on the balls that that, <laughs> what? that can't feel good bro it can't bro oh my god what do you do what do you mean what do you do you, what if, you hop up and you run and you close the door. If you got bit in the balls by a snake? In the ball, yeah, you gotta, you gotta. What is your friend, what is like somebody you knew got bit in the balls by a snake? What do you and, mean and if you, I knew? I hope you in a hospital. I hope I'm you not need, your. But hope, you're not, you're not in the hospital. Like it was you in the middle of nowhere. And he needs you to. <laughs> that ain't sucking no venom out no balls. <laughs> I'm straight. You about to die. <laughs> I tell people good stuff about you. Let me know what you want your funeral to be like. <laughs> I'm straight. You know why? Because like when I think about why you're you're going to be a daily reminder that I suck balls before. <laughs> like you're just walking around alive. Everybody's like, man, I'm so happy Mike's alive. I'm like, yeah, I have to suck balls. <laughs> You owe me every favor in the world. Like, hell no, I'm good. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro, let me borrow $20. No. You, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> are you serious? Oh, are you serious, brother? That's hilarious, bro. That's crazy. Only in Australia that can that can, that can happen. Big ass spiders and reptiles. And what else that. happened in the, in the world today? Space I, Jam 2. Space or, Jam Two. Oh, is it? I don't even think it's Space Jam Legacy. Two. Yeah, they did. They try to make it seem like it wasn't a sequel. It was just a new, its own thing. It is its own thing. Did you watch it? 
Yeah. I just no, I, no I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I watched the trailer of it. I've, uh, I probably won't watch it. I, I don't, don't know. know if I will. Yeah, I haven't watched it yet. Um, I already see people shutting it down. I could tell you, I could tell people are already going to hate on it just because it was LeBron already, LeBron. first of all. <laughs> yeah, it's LeBron. So I already knew people are going to hate on the, the movie. So it's number one right now, by the way. It's, it's beating Black Widow in the box office. Oh, dang. Yeah, I saw LeBron tweet that out literally right before we started shooting. Oh, that's dope. So that's exclusive information. I think people are, are excuse me, I think people are thinking about the the last one when they, they think about this one. And just like you were, we were talking, I saw Shannon Sharp saying this, that when Space Jam came out originally, it had terrible reviews. It is. Michael Jordan's not a good actor. LeBron's not a good actor. <laughs> and and what pe- and, and it's gonna have and it's gonna have terrible reviews because kids can't review movies. Yeah. It's a fucking kid movie. Yeah. And it's grown ass man but online saying, Oh, Space Jam sucks. I didn't like the way LeBron was talking to Bugs Bunny. Like, you are thirty two <laughs> with a kid. The fuck you care about what LeBron's saying to Bugs Bunny. Yeah. It it's just People just find anything to hate. I, I gotta, you gotta give LeBron like credit for even trying to do that too, because he already knew what type of criticism yeah, he got. That's a, that's I a think lot of pressure. He shot it during COVID too, like in the middle of all that stuff going on. Like oh, he yeah. couldn't even be like certain places at that time. Facts. So it, and I think he shot it in a whole, in a whole summer. I think Michael Jordan might have did the same thing. But. And yeah, people are oh, the soundtrack is is better. Oh, for Space Jam One and Space I like the Jam soundtrack two. for Space Jam Two. But it, it's still, yeah. LeBron's using newer songs, mm-hmm. day and age songs, mm-hmm. and Michael Jordan's song just happen to all be classics. I wonder why they're classics. I, that's the thing. They I have think to be Space, old to be a classic. Yeah, like, exactly. What I think with Space Jam, t- this one that just came out with LeBron, I think looking back at it, maybe tw- 10, 15 years later, we're gonna look at it differently. Yeah. Just because just that's how the first Space Jam happened. We're gonna look it, at LeBron differently. Yeah, when like, when Space Jam One came out, terrible reviews, and they re released it a couple years, like many la- years later, and then it was just nostalgic. So everybody was like, "Oh shit, this was actually a pretty good movie," even though at the time it was terrible because people didn't like Michael Jordan either. Well, yeah. Like you love them and it, hate them at the same time. Exactly, type of that's what happens when 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 you play. When yeah. You're still currently playing the same thing. When Kobe retired, then everybody loved Kobe. Mm-hmm. When Michael Jordan retired, then everybody started loving Michael Jordan till like LeBron came along. Yeah. But it's gonna be the same thing when LeBron retires. Mm-hmm. More people are gonna start to love him because he's not busting your favorite team's ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody yeah. in Chicago hates LeBron yeah. because of the Michael Jordan thing, but also. LeBron was putting their ass out the final. I mean, out the conference <laughs> finals every year when they had the best team that they had since Jordan. No, that's true. So, so like you're gonna have haters. Like if you're still constantly playing when LeBron retires, this movie will be just as good as Space Jam One mm-hmm. and the classic song, the cl- soundtrack. You know, somebody hating when they talk about a damn soundtrack. <laughs> Like you sound like a fucking hater. There's just like, literally like went in with the mindset like I'm gonna say it, and I'm not even a big LeBron like fan. I would say like I'm not like I don't like, cape for LeBron, but this I knew it was gonna be some hating shit for sure, hundred percent, hundred percent. Bro, I went to Chipotle for the first time in a while this past um this past weekend. I don't know why. This is why. This is, is there not a Qdoba around. This is that's the point I'm gonna get to. Okay, my bad. So I went to Chipotle, and I'm going through line because I usually go to Qdoba. I got the I'm a rewards member at Qdoba, so I'm in line at Chipotle. And I'm like, you know, I get my normal bowl, rice, double meat, queso, chips. You get what? Queso, chips, What's double meat. <laughs> <laughs> that's the bro. I get more meat than you. <laughs> Oh, ah! let's go it ain't a crash dummy episode what i want pause <laughs> but then go ahead, i get to Doppler. the <laughs> i get to the cash register and then it's 16 dollars for everything damn i said wait what happened i usually pay like 10 dollars at qdoba mm-hmm. i'm looking at it i said these motherfuckers charge for queso and they charge me for chips they charge you for that? Bro, I am done. Chipotle, I know you guys are big on, on TikTok, too. The nerve. You guys are we ridiculous. We tag you in this. That's and ridiculous. Then, and I asked for double meat, and the lady didn't really give me enough meat. 
<laughs> you know, every time you you can't blame, don't employ blame because they'd be like, "Where was this at when this happened?" Like they'll tweet you back and be yeah. like, "What employee did that to you?" Like they want you to dry snitch Bro, on the person that they, they are play so in stingy with me twelve seventy at Chipotle. An hour. Qdoba is way better than um, by far. Chipotle. It's not even not even a, not even a question. Uh, if you the charge people, if, better, if you're charging people for chips and, and guac queso and, and guac for a little ass guac. And then the little ass avocado that is with some tomatoes in it. There's like, what the fuck wrong with you? <laughs> like, what are you giving for free? Like the whole bowl. How are you charging for queso? How are you charging for chips? Qdoba, I have to turn down chips from them. I know. They They're be, like, you want chips? Are you sure you don't want chips? Are you sure you don't want chips? Like, no, I'm good. Thank you. One I time I chips. told like a Qdoba worker, I don't want chips. I got in the car. They were sitting on my front seat. I said, these motherfuckers. Yeah, we need a Qdoba sponsorship. I'll bash uh, Chipotle all day. For uh, Qdoba. For real. I'm not doing that shit. No but more. if Chipotle sponsored us, I'll bash Qdoba. Yeah, yeah, no. We, we <laughs> fake. No, don't, don't get it twisted, Chipotle. Don't get Chipotle. it twisted. There, there's time to fix this. First come, first serve. <laughs> <laughs> there's time to fix this. We got the Manscaped sponsorship. Yeah. Now we can get the Chipotle sponsorship. Come on. <laughs> if you want us to stop bashing you. Yeah. We but just no, took Qdoba. at least one fan away from you. Yeah, at least one. At least one. So it, one of y'all, if y'all think about getting Chipotle, I want y'all to drive up to the drive through and say, Crash, I heard what Crash Dummy said about y'all. Even though the employee going to be like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> just drive off. And just drive think about off. <laughs> and go, Crash Dummies. <laughs> And yeah, Chipotle. Stop charging people for chips and queso. Yeah, y'all lame as hell. If you could, if you could predict something that's going to happen in twenty twenty one, that's that's crazy. What would you What would you predict that's going to happen in twenty twenty one? Something crazy that would happen in twenty twenty one. I think that's already happened. I was going to say some people go to space, but Richard Branson. The, that's crazy to you. Going to space, like yeah. just a civilian, like a civilian trip to space. Oh, okay. That's kind of already happened, though, but a billionaire went to space. Who went to space? Richard Branson. Oh, did he? Yep, he was in space. Isn't um, Elon Musk supposed to go to space? Yeah, but Richard time? Richard Branson beat him, too. I know Elon pissed, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you got Imagine a whole having that much money. Is That's what you're racing to do. Yeah, go to space. And just to yeah. see the... You know who's, you know who's probably shaking in their pants right now is the people that believe the earth is flat now you got the opportunity to go up there and say because you know the whole flat earth thing is that um i don't understand that they think the earth is flat and they think so they all think, the pictures are fake oh so they think the picture of the whole globe is is fake, is fake. yeah so why don't they just go to space now now that people can go to space and give you visuals of what space looks like the earth looks like from space they, what are they gonna do you just hear that dumbass statement i just said you know this like? <laughs> yeah i just said like why don't you just go to space I, like you like, could just catch a taxi up there hey i'm here to protect you bro so i heard you say the dumb shit but i, I just heard kept, you say some dumb shit you i kept say, it moving you tried to say grit last episode and you say girth i didn't even try to say grit i merely meant to say girth oh you're, <laughs> you're fucking sick. <laughs> I didn't even answer your question. I don't know. Uh, what do you think? What, what what's what's your question? Let me ask you the question. Uh, make a prediction. For oh yeah. The rest of twenty. So you make a prediction for the rest of twenty twenty one. Like, what's the craziest thing? What's the craziest thing that's gonna happen in twenty twenty one? Um, the craziest thing that's gonna happen in twenty twenty one is the exposure of like something in the government mm. i think it's coming soon i don't know exactly what it is i don't want to say exactly what it is because i love my life yeah they come get your ass they come get me oh he onto us yeah. <laughs> but i've been seeing like a lot like a lot of stuff i've been seeing like um like people were wondering like where are the aliens and then somebody came out with a prediction saying we're the actual aliens mm -hmm. and area 51 which you know if you walk on area 51 you get shot on site like mm -hmm. it's not many places that are in america where that if you walk on to the spot you get shot on site so area 51 obviously they're protecting yeah, something south side chicago and a lot of people think <laughs> 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 not stepping foot <laughs> nah, I'm joking. six nine landed on south side of chicago even though he was there at 3 a.m while everybody was asleep <laughs> but true. but you got you can walk on area 51 and be shot on site so people think it's actually the exit 
Mm. To leave. To leave. They said, we're the aliens. Ah. And then Area 51 is the entrance to... Whatever's real. Whatever's real. Yeah, that's why they're protecting it so much. Mm. So that's my goal in life, to get enough money to get the fuck up out of here. Well, they try to hold the little event at Area 51. A lot of people actually showed up. Oh, yeah. Like, the, oh, remember that thing? Yeah, that they're going to storm. Thing on Twitter, they're yeah. going to storm. That was oh, funny. be a lot of dead bodies. If the internet is them. hilarious, bro. Like, and nobody showed up to that shit. It was like not that many people, but it was like they they sell like items at, along that road. Like, mm-hmm. and so it was, it was kind of like an event, but I think people got as close as possible. There was a couple of people that showed up, like a decent amount of people. Yeah. I think they just got as close as possible. Nobody, nobody died. Like nobody is that dumb to storm something that's protected by the government. You got to be super, super dumb, wink, wink, mm. to storm something that's protected by the government. Yeah, like super dumb. <laughs> that's happened already. Where <laughs> the, the the capital? The capital riot is like yeah. super fucking dumb to storm <laughs> something. <laughs> <laughs> that's protected by the government you fucking idiots <laughs> always wanted a platform where i could bash them <laughs> you know there was a video i oh. probably i might get canceled for this oh. <laughs> that's fine we'll put it out to like a test group to see if i get canceled we got like a we got like a, a group chat where we drop our videos and we call it mm-hmm. them the cancel culture yeah you know? and if we get like 10 out of 10 we put it out also another shameless plug we also have a discord if you're listening and you have discord Join our Discord and yeah, the just join our Discord and let's just chop it up in there. But okay, so <laughs> I saw, so you know, the I'm so mad that we didn't have a platform yet when the Capitol riots mm-hmm. were, were happening. But there was a guy, the funniest video I ever saw, there was a guy in the wheelchair and like they're taking video of him. He was like, you, you can't stop us from taking over our, our America back. We're on our way to storm the Capitol. And they showed a video of him rolling towards the Capitol. And, like, the funniest comment ever was, by the time you get there, they're going to be done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, unless you got one of those little fast ones. Well, even then, like, you fire a cell away from the Capitol. And some, all this and stuff. some and stairs. Some stairs. I don't, <laughs> the Capitol building is probably, like, handicapped guess, accessible yeah. for sure. For sure. But he got to take, like, a different route than everybody else. So. <laughs> they were climbing stuff. Like That was anyways, wild. That was wild. That was crazy. But. Obviously, everybody knows all the details of that. Yeah. So. I got a question. That's crazy. I would have never predicted some stuff like that, though. No, I wouldn't. Some, somebody storming some stuff. Like, you know, like, there's only, yeah, we're not going to get too far. <laughs> I'm out of there. <laughs> I got a question, though. Only a certain type of people get away with some Bro, shit Bro, I've like been that. trying to ask a question for the type of things. Like, like, imagine a bunch of Nigerians storming the Capitol. <laughs> it would have been successful. Huh? Would have been successful. Y'all wouldn't have made it. Too yeah, we would have. We would have. Man, shout out to the nation, man. <laughs> shout out to Nigerian nation. <laughs> they fuck with you. Legos, go ahead. All right. If you could learn one stat about yourself, what would you be? What would it be? Yeah. If I could learn one stat about myself, it would be. To see how many times I successfully lied, like I want to see, like, <laughs> I want to see how many times I've lied and how many times people have like, even if they like didn't tell me that they knew I was lying, mm. I want to see my lie rate. Like, am I good? <laughs> Is there a good liar? I think I'm a good liar. Like, it, it's a lot of people right now that think like, oh, like I told, I don't know why I went through this phase and like, um. Uh, high school like i think i was 10th grade i was in mm-hmm. north carolina so it was my first time i only went to a school in north carolina for one year yeah i told everybody there i was a foster kid i got it out the mud mm-hmm. and that's not true you weren't a foster kid no oh i told you that too <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> oh shit <laughs> bro you weren't a foster kid no. Bro, this whole time I thought you were a foster kid. My mom took very oh, good care of what me. What kind of <laughs> lie is that? <laughs> oh, my People God. People ask too many questions. That's my first defense question. <laughs> They'd be like, who's your mom? I was like, I was a foster kid. I don't know. Like, who the fuck is you? <laughs> I don't want you Googling me or nothing. Oh, my goodness. So now that I mean we real friends. Welcome to the club. Wow. It's like five of y'all. And we do a podcast together, and, and I'm being lied to. That's crazy. 
I'm not a foster kid. I did grow up in Omaha, though. I don't like that part of my life. I don't believe you. Shout out to all my boys in the 402. <laughs> I don't the big O. I don't Shout out my cousin Omaha. Fred holding down a big O. But I think a stat I would want to learn about myself is how much bacon I've eaten in my lifetime. That's what you want to know? Yeah. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. How? That's what you want to know. Bacon. Bacon. Bacon, a stat that you can know, but you can't you I like at least when I live, like, okay, my lie rate is under fifty percent. Damn, I need to stop lying because people know that I'm a liar. But yeah. if mine is like over eighty percent, I know that I can continue this life that I choose to live. And you consuming bacon doesn't mean anything. They yes tell you, do. Oh, you consumed a, over a hundred pounds of bacon. If What's they told me I've I've consumed over a ton of bacon. I'm going to question my bacon eating. I'm going to try to eat less bacon. That's it. That's what the stat you choose. Yep. It's the dumbest shit. You just wasted this segment. How? You just wasted this segment. How? On to the next one. Oh, my goodness. I'm sick of that shit, man. <laughs> That's all you could think of? <laughs> you know who got the dumbest shit ever? No, I'm just not realizing it. Who? Dairy Queen. You ever got a blizzard from Dairy Queen? I actually just got one. What do they do? After they make your, first of all, they stuff in too much ice cream in a, in a fucking little ass bowl, and then a small ice cream. If you ask for a small blizzard, like that's 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 too much ice cream. I noticed that and a mini ice cream is not enough, and I don't know who the fuck gets medium and large. You need to uh, slow down a little bit, there, buddy. <laughs> I just got a large. You are crazy. Like, that's crazy, <laughs> bro. This is. I look, know your toilet hates you. Their story was the, 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 what you're gonna get at was like they put the thing upside down, right? Shit, dumb as hell. Well, look, listen to this though. We, I literally just went to Dairy Queen with Bailey two days ago, and they gave it to us in like a fountain drink cup. You have to open the cap. They didn't do the little thingy. Why do you want them to do that? What does that tell you? That's just their thing. That's dumb as hell. I think that's a dumb thing. Just in case you eat it upside down, my dog, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Just in case you hanging from a tree, you're going to eat it upside down. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is your hand gestures doing right now? The pause. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> I got to cut these bitches off. <laughs> fuck. I'm pissed. Oh, my goodness. It's one, 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 one. One, one. One, one. <laughs> One one, but well, but yeah, the Dairy Queen thing, yeah. like that, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. And speak speaking of ice cream, okay. So July fourteenth, which uh -huh. is it's not gonna make sense. July fourteenth was National uh, Mac and Cheese Day. Mm -hmm. So a a brand, Kraft and Cheese, decided to make a ice cream, a mac and cheese ice cream. Disgusting. Disgusting, right? You would think it's disgusting. That Sold is out. Price. Sold out. Sold out. I wonder the number, the demographic. I wonder the demographic of people that I bought the, the mac, demographic. <laughs> the mac and the, cheese ice cream. The same, <laughs> hey, the same people that's eating them ketchup lays. <laughs> it's the same people. <laughs> it's the same people. Oh my goodness! I know it's the same. It's the same people that put peas in their casserole. <laughs> They all aligned. <laughs> we catching on to you. Y'all the ones that's keeping Arby's open. We know. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, every time I go by Arby's, ain't nobody in the drive-thru. <laughs> hey, Arby's is selling drugs. I'm convinced. <laughs> they putting hair on in, in between the roast beef. What? Ha hair on. Heroin? Yeah. That's, a, that's like the slang way of saying heroin. I don't say heroin. <laughs> I've never heard somebody say hair on. on. That's like the, the clothing brand, hair on Preston. I never heard of that. You just said hair on for heroin. Yeah, heroin. That's how that's like a slang way of saying it. <laughs> Word slang. Anyways, you're not from America, so I'm not gonna. I don't know why I argue with you about. Anyways, <gasps> where they where they say hair on the hair on that boy off the hair on. <laughs> you know you can't leave. You know you can't lose weight around black people. <laughs> you know instead of you know if you lose weight around uh, other races, mm -hmm. they go, oh man, he must be working hard. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He lost a lot of weight. <laughs> You know what black people be saying? What? He on that shit again. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I know a crackhead when I see one. <laughs> like, or he stopped eating fast food every day. Nah, that boy cracked out. I know a crackhead when I see one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, crackhead. Because you lost weight, can't lose weight around black people. and call you a crackhead. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my God. 
Oh. Bro, why are you always late? Late to what? Everything. What am I late to? You always late. I'm an African time sometimes. I see. <laughs> if you invite Mike to a party at six o'clock, your your best bet is to tell them that tell him that it ends at a certain point. Because if he feels like it doesn't end, he's gonna show up at eleven o'clock. Once I haven't been late to a lot of things, but uh, Bailey might say differently but. yeah she definitely everybody <laughs> around you will say differently <laughs> for sure you're you're late you're on you're not on i'm always on time like right on time i push the limits sometimes you're on, you're on west african time you that's how we show up four hours late to some stuff that's all the african time is different than black people time and then regular people time so you know black people time white people time is on time black people time an hour t- an hour too late type shit and african time four hours like the party starts at like six and starts at 11 we all know that in conjunction so we just say that in case there's any early stragglers and yeah and i also want to get people like like black people time first of all black people time can only be said by black people i just want to put that out there (laughs) like i was in the bar and this dude his black friend showed up late he was asian but his black (laughs) friend showed up late and he was like Oh, I see y'all on black people time. Like, that's not your line. <laughs> like, only a black person can say that another black person is on black person time. Oh, man. That's funny, actually. But in even that, that's only referring to social events. Mm-hmm. So if you're that's that has nothing to do with the work world. Mm-hmm. Black person time is not a thing in the work world. No, no, no. That person, specific person, is just lazy as shit, <laughs> and they're late. It has nothing to do with their race. Black person time is is your party starts at nine. I don't want to be the first person there. It's mm-hmm. lame. You got to help out. You got to move chairs. Yeah. Like I'm not with that. I'm gonna show up when the DJ's warmed up. When the you know the drinks are out, the food is out. It's, it should be called cool people time, so, black people time. So when you're going out, because I know I have a time limit on when plans need to be made before I make a decision that I'm going out. What is your time limit that a plan has to be made for your that night outing? Like how late can it be before you say, "No, nah, I'm not going"? When I'm ready to go. See, for me. If I don't hear any, you know this too. If nobody makes any plans by nine o'clock, it's, it's a wraps. <laughs> it's definitely I'm not leaving yeah, you the don't house. Leave. I'm more, I'm, I'm more flexible. I'm a little bit more. I'm getting more like you now. Yeah, I'm getting more to like the old man state to Bruh, where like I remember we used to go out, and then you would always want to stay to bar close. And I used I'm to in, always want to stay to bar. I'm a night owl though. I'm in the club like dying in the back ready to go home like fam it's 12 o'clock and there's two more hours you know nah, bro we got two more hours let's go i'm like no this is this is bad so you're gonna drive home you're gonna take an uber home i'm out <laughs> always yeah you always bill <laughs> yeah i can't i i can't even, i don't know the last time i've been out past 12 like when it hits 12 i'm ready to go you already know me i'm sleeping like i'm in bed like 9 9 30 nothing good happens after 12 o'clock ladies and gentlemen nothing unless good. you're at a strip club <laughs> That's it. That's still the case. Then something good. Might probably happen. not. You probably can you guys put out <laughs> <laughs> falling asleep on a stripper's get your ass out. Oh. <laughs> What's the next topic? <laughs> um. So, um, I had a question for you. Let's get into a would you rather? Mm-hmm. Okay. Would you rather be in jail for five years, or be in a coma for a decade? Hell for five years or coma for a decade. You know how long a decade is? Ten years. Nice, nice, nice. Chat, give him a clap. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's for our Discord. I would um <clears throat> I'd rather be in a coma for ten years. Than jail five years? Yeah, definitely. It's not gonna when when I go to sleep, it's gonna when I wake up, it's literally gonna be like no time has passed. You're not gonna know like so you're you're actually you're actually in your marketing. You're uh, you do stuff digitally. You create websites. Mm-hmm. That that's your job. That's how you make money. Yeah. <laughs> but you are going to be so far behind on t- in technology and uh, marketing. You're not you're not going to be able to live. Like you're going to have to work at like some fast food restaurant. You're going to be like behind because you're going to work next to a robot. Ten years is a long way. That's twenty thirty one. So 
I'll figure it out. Be flying cars. You're not gonna know how to drive. <laughs> it's not gonna be flying cars in 2030. They already they already know how to create flying cars. No, they just haven't put I it can out bet yet. you. No, I'd rather be because it's gonna be quicker for me. I I don't want to spend five years in jail. I'm not doing jail time. I'm not doing jail time. Nope. Even if it doesn't go on your record. Nope. 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 Wake Nobody, me up in ten. You're not gonna Wake be hireable. You're not gonna be hireable either way. Wake like, me up in ten. Five years in prison. I'm not hireable now. Why? Because I, I work for myself. I'm saying you're not going to. What are you going to do? Figure out a way. Figure I'm always the thing about me. I always have smart people around me that help me do the work anyway. So they're going to know what the hell to do. I don't need to. The only thing, the only, the only bad part about that question is who's going to want to keep me in a coma for, for 10 years? I know. Before <laughs> they let you go. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be in a coma for 10 years. No, you're going to be skinny as shit when you wake up. <laughs> It'll be a little twig. It's gonna be a little twig. What'd you pick? What if uh five years in prison? You would do five years in prison? Yep. Become a vice lord in prison. <laughs> Why that specific game? Huh? Why that specific game? Well, whatever game. game <laughs> every show I try to pick like a new gang. That way I don't get no new enemies. <laughs> but whatever gang is the most popular, five years, read a couple books, come out smart, start my own roofing business. I feel like that's what you gotta do when you come out of prison. So you need jail. To help you start a roofing business. Yeah. <laughs> it's better than being in a coma for 10 years. You don't even know you're in a coma. Yeah, at least somebody at least somebody can hold you down for 10 years. Like Ooh. your significant other can hold you down. You think they're going to wait? For five years. 10 years, you think they're going to wait? They think oh, you're true. dead. True, 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 true. They think you're dead. There's going to be nobody by your but bed. But they'll when you know wake that, up. hey. Nobody by your bed when you wake up. Nah, there'll be people. Like nobody's going to care. that You're going to get like a thousand likes on Facebook and that's going to be like your peak. What are you going to do for 10 years with the podcast? Huh? What are you going to do for 10 years? I told you I already got your replacement. <laughs> Vince Staples, if you out there, you want to be a crash dummy? You know and then I mean? it was your five years in prison and I'm here and we just have to zoom in for the prison. You only five got like years. a minute. On the phone, call me. <laughs> you only got like a minute. Hey, Mike, ask me a question. Would I rather drop the soap or? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Speaking of, hey, if you drop soap. On the ground, is it dirty or clean? Mm. Clean. Clean? I think it's clean. You clean on a door. So if you drop soap on a dirty floor, is the soap still clean? <laughs> Stubbed <Yeah>. you. <laughs> yeah, I think it's still it's still clean. Still clean. Yeah. Is yeah. there dirty soap? Is there dirty soap? There, there is dirty soap. There is dirty soap. There's such thing as di- yeah, I, dirty soap water. Dirty soap water, not dirty soap, though. So anytime like a, the soap is dirty, you put water on it, it becomes clean, right? But is it dirty at some point? That's the question. Why is this question so hard? <laughs> I was just going to make a joke and say, like, depends on if you're in prison or not. <laughs> <laughs> if it's dirty or clean. Uh, you drop the soap on a clean floor in prison, it's still dirty because they're going to do you dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right. What's the next would you rather question? You don't even use you. Who you still use soap bars? You use soap no, bars. No, no, no. Yeah, you lose um, body wash, right? Yeah, but you body wash from Bed Bath and oh, I keep saying Bed Bath and Beyond. Bath and Body. No, no, sh- no plugs. <laughs> uh, just say their name wrong. Oh, Bath Manscaped. Bed. I use Manscaped. Bad Bed and Manscaped. <laughs> <laughs> no free plugs. All right. So, would you rather? Lose the ability to read or lose the ability to speak? Mm, that's a good one. Lose the ability to read. Yeah. Or lose the ability to speak. I would rather lose the ability to speak. That is correct. I just think that's the best answer. <laughs> this has to be the best answer. It has to be, right? Like, What's the point of speaking if you can't read? <laughs> yeah, like, what am I like, going to be like, saying? Like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Only thing you can explain is to the cops that you didn't know that says stop. <laughs> I know that was a damn stop sign. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> I feel like not being able to read can get you in a lot of trouble and put you in a lot of, like, tougher situations. Like, you can, like, what if a bathroom doesn't have, like, any symbols and just say <laughs> women's and men's? 
<laughs> every time you, you gotta make the hardest decision it's of your like, life <sighs> like one door i'm a sex offender the other door <laughs> i just get to use the bathroom uh-huh. you don't know what door to pick that's fucking that's fucked up there's a lot of bad shit that can happen to you if you can't read <laughs> yeah for sure like what do you do like yeah there's nothing if you can't i guess you can understand people's that people talk yeah you can understand yeah, so I guess you you can be an audio learner. Mm-hmm. If I can't speak, you know, I'll just be like every other person that can't speak. I just learn sign language. You gotta read sign language. I know. I said if I can't speak, though. Oh right, yeah. yeah. That's easy, right? Yeah. Not being able to speak, like if I'm a mute, I guess we couldn't do the podcast no more. Yeah. Do like a deaf podcast. Have the translator in the back. Have you seen that one the translator thing? for what? The You're the, deaf, sign, the sign so language. So you learn sign language. I'm saying, if you how's say- somebody gonna translate? <laughs> <laughs> how's somebody gonna? Tra- you can't speak, so somebody's gonna translate. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I write down what I want to say the whole podcast, word for word. Huh? <laughs> I'll write down what I want to say during the podcast, word for word. And you just sit there yeah. while they translate. Yeah. You're like trying to like match up with the signs. <laughs> do you see that one uh i forgot what event was it but the the sign language interpreter <laughs> wasn't doing some bullshit oh it was, it was uh no that wasn't waka flocka's um no waka flocka's translator one. did really well yeah there was like a a, a political thing it was yeah like it was a political somebody thing. running for governor that's why we need a producer they would just look that yeah up. they would just look it up so <laughs> still looking for a producer i got a couple cats in mind but we still looking for one so <laughs> if you want to grow with us reach out to us become a producer become the third crash dummy all right that means we got to buy another mic and another manscape to get you some uh, yeah some clippers <laughs> yeah so yeah we'll get you some clippers <laughs> remember use crash cold crash dummies 20 percent off you thought that was smooth i don't know that shit That's was fine. trash my boy they've already heard the, the oh, regular yeah. ad read already so oh, by now? <laughs> yeah. all right so you guys know what to do all right all right next question would you rather have to hunt and gather all of your food or eat mcdonald's every day i would eat mcdonald's every day rather than hunt yeah because you probably starve if you gotta hunt yeah it you would, can't it, do much you don't you can't you don't know how to shoot a gun Mike's no. never been hunting before. No. In this country. I don't know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know y'all was rolling in West Africa. I've actually it's killed probably a lot more stuff to kill over. I've there. actually killed a goat and I've killed a cow. Wow. Boothless. Yep. Chopped his head off. You chop but they already had trapped it for you. Yeah, I didn't have to catch it. So you didn't have to hunt. I gathered, yes. You didn't gather it. They gathered it for you. You just made the kill. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta hunt and gather. Yeah, so that nah. means you have to chase down animals. I'm, I'm getting my. I'm in the morning. I'm gonna get a uh, sausage egg muffin, a burrito, uh, and some orange juice. And then in the afternoon, I probably get the same thing. To be honest, I probably just eat the same rotation of things. I might get him a chicken. I haven't got him a chicken in, in a couple of years, but but yeah, that'll be my McDonald's rotation. I like McDonald's breakfast, so yeah, I I'll guess be good. It definitely depends on like what location you're in. Yeah, but like because, what is this like, only every- venison or deer out here? And you're gonna be eating venison for the rest of. Life? I mean. That's the only thing that you can hunt freely. Yeah. Every cow probably in like a thousand mile radius is owned. Mm-hmm. Like there's no such thing as a wild cow <laughs> yeah, the, or a wild chicken. Yeah, you gotta go wild some, turkeys. You gotta go somewhere for it. Yeah. So like that that would be tough. You would have to eat McDonald's and Bro, I would have to kill. Look at all the hunters probably like, Oh, I'd rather hunt. I'd rather hunt. <laughs> rather hunt. <laughs> I'd rather hunt. Skin that thing. Skin that <laughs> thing. That's easy. <laughs> I'm I'm uh some venison. <laughs> I'm being uh, some venison. <laughs> <laughs> We're making it sound like every hunter has a country accent. I know that's kind of uh, stereotypical. <laughs> yeah, that's so is color people time. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to hunt it, kill it, skin it, then find a way to cook it and process it. Nah. Right. It's all those like rules, like oh, you got to take the shit bag out like this, or the meat's tainted. Yeah. Nah. All that, like oh, I'm man. Gucci, just McDonald's me. Yeah, I probably go McDonald's. Th- that question was for the wrong two people. <laughs> <laughs> we needed somebody else up here. Yeah. Okay, would you rather sell all of your possessions or sell one of your organs? Obviously, it probably have to be our. Uh, we got two kidneys, right? Sell my or- like. Is there a price thing that 
What do you mean a price thing? Like, why am I just, I have to sell one of the things? You have to sell an organ or all of your, everything that you own. Every single, so you're, so as soon as you accept this. I I feel like my kidney would be way more, worth more on the black market. What does that mean? I mean? Oh, you're saying your kidney, but you don't have anything. So you're going to sell your kidney anyways, and you're going to do both. I, I would just sell my kidney. Oh, yeah. No, not you're not getting money back for your kidney. You just have to sell it? How am I lose. selling it for no money? You lose. Lose, okay. So ask the question again. Then. Oh, no, 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 I did. Okay. Asking it over. Yeah. We're going to cut this out. Would you rather sell all of your possessions or sell one of your organs? So this is like kind of like a. You just asked the same question. Yeah, 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 yeah. For I did it for the cut. Oh, you said sell. Yeah, sell. I, I did it for the cut. I was wrong. What'd you say the first time? I said the same thing. I just messed up and said that you were wrong for saying that I said sell because I didn't know I said sell. Oh, <laughs> so I'm gonna ask again. Okay. Would you rather sell all of your possessions or sell one of your organs? Hmm. Again, um, I would sell my kidney. You would sell your kidney? Yeah. Instead of all of your possessions? Yeah. Do, do you understand the question? Yeah. So. Wait, would I be getting the same sell- amount of money back? What do you mean the same amount of money back? Because I'm selling it. Right. But you don't have to sell. You don't have to sell. You don't have to sell your organs. You just sell all your stuff and keep your health. There's a lot of stuff you can't do without the other kidney. Why would I sell all my possessions, though? Because it could save you from s- s- selling the organ. Pe- but people sell their organs all the time. Where? Hey, I don't know if you're talking about, officer. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what do you mean by that? <laughs> no, yeah. I'll, uh, yeah, no, I'll sell a kidney. You'll sell a kidney? I think it's worth more. I'm just going based on value of things I own. Right. But what about your health? I can survive with one kidney. Yeah. But I think, don't you have to be on dialysis after that? No. There are people that tra- they, uh, so you, give a kidney to a, a relative. Yeah. They, and they have to do something after. They, you just don't get to like sell a, a organ and just be like, oh, no, you I'm can just sell a kidney. Out. You can live with one kidney. You can Perfectly live with fine. it. Yeah. But I think there's some medicine you have to take after that. That's fine. For a couple mil for the spleen? The you think you're gonna get a million for, for my kidney? I think a kidney is like barely over six figures. How you know? What are you talking? Oh, nothing, officer. <laughs> <laughs> we off this uh, question. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Would you rather be in the history books for something terrible or be forgotten completely after you die? Um, I'd rather be forgotten completely after I die. Idiot. Why? It's not going to bother me in the afterlife. If you could pick that something terrible. So specifically pick that something terrible. Mm. What about that? The up the ante for you? Nah. You I, like that? Nah. I don't care about like. I, I Being don't th- remember? Nah. I don't think it's going to be anything that's going to. It's not going to affect me in the afterlife. It just affects me in this this human life that I'm living now. But in the afterlife, I don't think that's going to be a concern. I want to be remembered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so you rather. What would, you, what would be the the bad thing that you did that you'd be remembered for um i probably slapped the shit out of trump (laughs) you probably died from doing that and like get killed on the spot like how many statues would i have (laughs) i'd be like in the history books (laughs) like it'd be like me and frederick douglas rocking the same page (laughs) frederick douglas and don't forget about patrick johnson it's like me smacking the shit out of him (laughs) I wonder, like, oh I, we God. probably shouldn't be saying that either, huh? <laughs> no. Damn. <laughs> we just lost all our Trump supporters. <laughs> <laughs> we love all you guys. We love both of y'all, I swear. <laughs> 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 oh, man. That is crazy. Okay. Would you rather lose your eyesight or your memories? I'd rather lose my eyesight. Then you're, you'd rather be blind? Than lose my memories? Than lose your memories. Yes. You can't make any more new memories. They're all audio after that. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine to be blind? Yeah. To not see, Mike. You won't be able to see. That's fine, but at least I get to have good memories. Good memories. And create new ones. 
How you gonna see them though? You're blind. It doesn't matter. You think what do you think blind people are doing right now? You think blind people can see in their dreams? I I don't know. Can they? I don't know anybody blind. I have a cousin that that um that has like a little thing on his eye, like the Fetty Wap. Oh, like a closed eye? Mm-hmm. The arm. From a little um little firecrackers. Maybe. Little... <laughs> He's a pirate. <laughs> Does he have a patch? <laughs> no. Why do I don't get why people wouldn't wear a patch? You would wear a patch if you it's had one. Stylish eye? as fuck. I'd be like the patch king. I have red, black, green. <laughs> that'd be idiot. perfect. That'd be perfect nickname. Patchy. Patchy. Pat. Patty. Patchy. Ooh, that's fire. I might take that. I might lose an eye. But you'd rather be blind mm-hmm. than than lose my memories. Lose my sure. memories for sure. Man, fuck. All my memories. <laughs> I need to see. <laughs> I create new memories. <laughs> like, Pat, you don't remember me? Nope, but I can see you. <laughs> At least. Oh, man. Fuck that. I'm not losing nothing. What's the weirdest thing you've ever ate? The weirdest thing I've ever ate would have to be... I have two things. What? So one is goat head. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. So in Nigeria, my mom likes uh, goat head. <laughs> <laughs> I can't laugh at that. Yo. She does. So they eat goat head in Nigeria sometimes. So I tried it. Um, I wasn't too too much of a fan of it. You tried what? Some goat head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 2-1 now. <laughs> uh, the other thing is uh, they call it bush meat, but it's like a... It's like a rodent of some type. Oh, just any rodent? I, I've had squirrel before. It's like a rodent, like a beaver looking rodent. Like a musk it's a muskrat. That's what it is. Oh man. Y'all eat so, rats so, over there. So, so I ate a muskrat in the village in Nigeria. They're selling on the street. I thought it was just like regular beef that used to sell and it's really right. good. Like cow, right? And then it was it happened to be muskrat and I ate it. I was like, what the fuck is this? And I was just it just made my stomach like Oh man, it was just a bad. It was worse. It was bad, bro. My stomach was turning. Everything. It was just you not good. You ate some rat. I ate some rat. I thought, bro. I was like, you damn. Some six I, it tasted so weird. I've never tasted anything like that. I was like, damn. Am I eating like a human being? I was like, damn. I might be eating a person. <laughs> <laughs> but it was eating ass, and he didn't know it. <laughs> bro, it was so bad. I was like, this. It's like it. a taste I've never tasted in meat before. <laughs> yo <laughs> clip it <laughs> yo so I've, I've i've eaten turtle before turtle yeah where <laughs> my uncle used to catch turtles in like this lake and he would like decapitate them and then take their like bodies apart and then we eat fried turtle Without I, like with the shell is anything in the no dish? And the shell is gone you you, you remove the shell too Whew. ooh I know <laughs> hey it's Frank <laughs> um I've had squirrel before this is not something I'm desiring this is something <laughs> that I was younger and somebody like made me taste it mm-hmm. um gator I've had I've had alligator. yeah alligator I've had swordfish. I don't know if I They got swordfish here. at Milwaukee Public Market. Mm, I haven't. We uh, reside in Milwaukee, just if everybody didn't know that. Pow, pow. Yeah, try us if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Ratatata. Ratatata. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we just threatened like all of our followers. <laughs> like, damn. Somebody sitting in Australia like, what the hell? What the fuck? I was just trying to listen to your podcast. Yeah, I was just talking about snakes and everything. But yeah, but saying that, like, after... Things taste better fried, obviously. Yep. You can almost fry anything, mm-hmm. and it becomes edible. Fried frog. Yeah, f- like fried, yeah, all type of fried stuff. That's why I can never be on, like, Fear Factor. Like, you see all those Fear Factors? I could kill like, it on Fear Factor. The thing is, the thing is, I could, I, could, I think I could kill it on Fear Factor, too, because they'd be like, oh, climb this rope on this helicopter floating over this ocean. I know you won't let me die. Exactly. Yeah, you won't let me die. <laughs> I know you're not going to let me die on exactly. national TV. <laughs> um, lay in this um, pot t- full of like tarantulas. tarantulas. I mean, a b- bucket full of tarantulas. Bucket fulls. But then they'll turn all the way around. So you'll make it all the way to the last round. They'll be like, Mike isn't scared of nothing. He can do everything. He's making it to the championship round. And they'd be like, oh, last round, eat this horse penis. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I would eat it, though. 
bro, I would eat it on tea. There's nothing I'm afraid of eating, bro. Not okay, not that. <laughs> 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 oh my god what no no no. but i would like i would eat anything on tv for like the for the money for the right thing. price yeah. <laughs> you'll eat ass on tv for the right price come on dude probably <laughs> <laughs> <Just joking. laughs> no 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 i'm talking about like the little bugs and shit they be eating oh uh, yeah 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 the bugs wouldn't bother me yeah it's just like the the meat the mystery meat <laughs> that they be having on there <laughs> I would eat it though. They'd be like, "Oh, it's camel balls mixed in." <laughs> they uh, be doing that. Hot sauce. Be like, I would what? do it though. I wouldn't. I was just not thinking about it. Just think about the money at the end of it. That's what you would do. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. I'm I'm good on all of that. I don't want to. I'm okay. <laughs> just know I'm okay. I think I've actually ate bull penis before. <laughs> no real talk. I think I have in Nigeria. Was was a bull alive? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I feel like that's a that's a question you gotta ask. <laughs> Yo, what's he alive? No. Was it consensual? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god. Okay. Oh, we got more. Huh. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Is a hot dog a sandwich? I think it would have to be. What else would it be? A hot dog. <laughs> like people say the dumbest shit. <laughs> It is, wasn't it? Would it be considered a sandwich? I think so. Bread? Uh, the definition of, well, is bread a, a meat between two pieces of bread? Is that a sandwich? I would think, I would consider it. But I think a hot dog is, is one piece of bread. The hot dog bun is one piece of bread. I mean, you can eat a sub sandwich and it's one piece of bread, technically. Oh. So hot dog is a sandwich. Damn, hot dog might be a sandwich. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think? Let us know what y'all think. Crash it's, dummies breaking all the myths that is a that is a big myth breaker mm -hmm. breaker for real who you got you got you got lamar odom or tristan thompson in a fight oh. well i've seen lamar fight you've seen lamar when he was sagging his pants yes he beat the shit out of aaron carter yes i've seen lamar fight i ain't seen tristan thompson's i don't know if i've seen tristan fight i think i've seen him getting a little scuffle yeah he's pretty strong dude they both nba players they're both like Similar but, position, like but power Lamar forward. did crack. I might have to go with Tristan. I just think I feel like that's an advantage. I, it might be because John Jones did crack too, and he beat the shit out of Daniel Comier. Was John MMA. Jones on crack? Yeah, he's even said it. He said I was doing lines of crack days before our fight, and I still beat your ass. Damn, that shit is crazy. <laughs> that's different. Somebody beating your ass off some crack. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, the reason why we ask, who do you have, Tristan or Lamar? Because recently, Chloe posted um, a picture in a bathing suit. Mm -hmm. And I guess um, Tristan Thompson and Lamar Odom both left some emojis okay. under, like hard eye emojis, stuff like that. But Tristan Thompson didn't like the fact that Lamar Odom left the comments i mean under. rightfully so rightfully so <laughs> maybe still, i don't know that's still technically his girl i guess in the public eye i don't know if the breakups are rumors or stuff like that yeah yes that's his that's the mother of his kid yeah <laughs> okay let's put it like that and lamar's her ex right yeah lamar's they used ex-husband ex-husband yeah, yeah oh so they used to date. <laughs> yeah they used to be married so <laughs> after he dropped the emojis lamar odom dropped the hard eye emojis on um chloe's post uh -huh. Tristan Thompson said, God brought you back the first time. Play if you want different results. <laughs> I don't think I don't think Tristan's capable of, of killing he's Lamar. He's Canadian. Yeah, he's not gonna kill Lamar. I don't think he's gonna kill Lamar, but he like he's saying he's gonna put his hands on him. But that's kind of bold. like just to like he was better off saying, like, I'm gonna beat your ass so bad you will going you you will wish, wish you were dead. Yeah. But like to talk about somebody that was like in a coma, like like fighting for his life, mm -hmm. a lot of people at like some point thought like Lamar Odom was gonna die. Yeah, but I think I guess all gloves are off when you're talking about the mother, his, his, his wife, his wife. Yeah, are they married? I don't know if they married. I think they are married. Well, anyways, <laughs> I got Lamar Odom. Because obviously he feeling real dangerous after boxing. He knew it was going to come with that. He knew what he was doing. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think he was trolling. And it was like, all right, let me see if I can get under uh, Tristan's skin. Oh, for sure. 
For yeah. sure, for sure. After all the, the cheating rumors. <laughs> yeah. Which he, they just rumors because Tristan Thompson don't cheat. Lamar, yeah, Lamar probably thought it was free game <laughs> yeah. when all that, those rumors were going around. He probably thought it was up. Like, yeah. yeah. I could take this. It was my turn. Let me slide in there. My turn. Get the old thing back. But he lost her. He lost He lost her to um, a girl. He was cheating on her, too. Lamar? Yeah. I have no clue. With that cocaina. <laughs> <laughs> Who was on crack? <laughs> oh, man. We're going to end the podcast with crack? Yeah. Crack oh. cocaine. Um, <laughs> well, again, recap. Well, again, we appreciate everybody supporting us, showing us love. Keep sharing the podcast with your friends. Um, we're going to start putting out different type of content pretty soon, maybe some reaction videos. Um vlog style type of things and um yeah uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to us i would tell you this now um i think we read like five would you rather questions mm -hmm. today three of them came from my friends supporters most of our board that we talk about comes from our supporters because that's what we want to do yeah we we don't want to just come up with our own topics all the time yeah. all the time like that's we, boring we don't know what you guys want to talk about what you guys want to hear yeah we try and make the conversation sound like you're in this room with us just having just shooting the shit having those conversations so yeah feel free to dm the crash dummies um Crash Dummy, oh, my mom froze up there. The Crash Dummy Podcast Instagram, and while you're there, give it a follow. Another plug. I'm just hey, I'm no more central. naked pics. <laughs> if you if you send a naked pic, you are done. You are banned. You are reported. <laughs> no more freebies. Oh man, no, don't send no photos. If you even send a photo and it's not like already out there where I can see the photo, I'm not clicking on it. I'm assuming that it's something. That's not appropriate. <laughs> and I'm blocking your ass. And I'm blocking you from every social media we have. Okay? Oh, my also, God. Also, this week, um, we're trying to get to 10K. So, hopefully, by the time you hear this, we are at... We will be at 10K Oh, by yeah. Time. Damn. This comes out Wednesday. Yeah. We'll be at 10K by the time this comes out. So, yeah. again, thank you for 10K. Thank you for 10K. Hey, TikTok. What else we doing? On TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't hit 10k by this you won't hear this you, you won't, won't hear this you won't hear this if we don't hit 10k yeah oh we can yeah. edit what we put <laughs> <Yeah>. out <laughs> look yeah. it's, it's good to have power so fuck everybody <laughs> you gonna edit that out right no wow <laughs> that's staying in <laughs> i ain't mean that I, I love everybody that's supporting thanks for everybody that's reaching out um stop talking about our outfits <laughs> Yo, we Let's talk about shit. like our pants are tight. Hey, every oh, his Skinny pants too jeans. loose. His pants too tight. Your legs too big for that. Like, <laughs> I would like you to watch the podcast instead of my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you watching my legs? Uh, <laughs> That's the first thing to do. The, hey man, I like the podcast. Like my cousin's okay. That's my cousin. But somebody, some dudes that I don't, I barely even know. I had a couple of friends reach out to me joking about it, but it was just one random dude like, "Hey man, I like the podcast and all, but man, you need some bigger jeans. Your 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 legs looking real big." <laughs> uh, no response, young man. No response. <laughs> like, don't like, like, pay attention to the words. Yeah. Have a conversation. <laughs> anyway click all the links in our bios and follow us on all platforms discord twitter yada 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 and then um again shout out to manscape for sponsoring this episode um again at, use crash code crash dummies hashtag at yeah, yeah it doesn't matter at the end of the episode but use hashtag support <laughs> <laughs> use code crash dummies for 20 percent off of your order it comes with free shipping so yeah Cold Crash Dummies, 20% off and free shipping. Thank you for Manscaped for sponsoring this episode. And thank you all for supporting us. And that has been episode five. Peace.